This next comic, really funny guy, plays all over. He's wearing a really awesome track jacket. I had to throw that in there because I liked it. Give it up for Michael Fry. Come on, guys. Come here, Taylor. All right. All right. New York Comedy Club. All right. Um, you guys look like a smart group of people, right? I just bought this jacket. Okay, can you please help me? Whoever made this jacket, can you explain to me why they felt it necessary that it had to zip all the way down? Why? Why? Oh. That's the most dangerous bit I'll ever do. Like, with somebody like, oh, like, my, my body's warm, but my cheeks and eyelids are freezing. Like, I wish somebody would just, oh, that's better, that's better. my whole set like that, but it'll be a little racist. So. <laughs> <laughs> I did that joke in like, I did that joke in uh, um, Suffolk County and like the more east you go on Long Island, the more like south it gets and it's just, I did that joke and I overheard through the hood someone go, hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, no, no, no. <laughs> this, guy really loves, this guy really loves jackets or something. <laughs> I really loves some jackets. Alright, let's get started. Um, you guys know when you when you dream about something like that's like really real, you wake up and that thing really happened. Like you know what I mean? Like I had a dream that I was brushing my teeth for like half an hour, like really intensely. And then I woke up and like my bed was full of urine. It was just like so real. So real. I worked at a summer camp, which is the best job if you're a stoner, and um, I'll explain, like, my kids were 8 and I was 22, and like, an 8-year-old and a 22-year-old stoner, we're like right there. <laughs> like, the same level. I didn't even take care of them, we just like hung out. <laughs> They'd come up to me and be like, Mike, Mike, when's lunch? I'd be like, dude, when is lunch? <laughs> job because like I'm a pothead and I know I'm not gonna be like a doctor or a lawyer but I was applying to Target to push the carts push carts and I they needed to drug test me like are people getting so high where they can't bring a shopping cart from the parking lot to the front of the store they're like walking like where the fuck does this go <laughs> Whole Foods doesn't drug test you. Oh man. But um, I was watching TV the other day and there's an anti weed commercial on, and those things are so stupid. I really think potheads come up with those. I mean, there's a commercial. There's a commercial where like, a dog's talking to you and like the dog's disappointed and like, they lost me because of the dog. Like, I, I'm a pothead. I would, like, I would make a good commercial because I know what, like, they would want me to stop smoking weed. Because, like, we're dope, you know? They should just make the commercial really dark and ominous because we scare easily. <laughs> and just have one guy go, marijuana, if you smoke all the weed now, there'll be none for later. <laughs> Second of all, like, relax, I'm 
paying her a compliment. I'm saying she's beautiful. It's not like I'm going to look at her and she's going to look into my eyes and be like, I have to go with him. <laughs> I have his eyes and shit. Right? I don't get it. I'd be more offended if I was walking with my girlfriend and some guy was just like, what the fuck is that? I'm Jewish, I'm like, I don't know, when I was little, they taught us stories like Moses. You guys know Moses? Not personally, but you heard of him? You heard of him? The story about Moses is that he talked to a burning bush, then he got, then he wandered through the desert. He got really high, and then he got lost. It happens to me all the time. All the time. But he was lost for 40 years, what a dick. You would think after 20 years, he'd turn around and be like, you know what? I have no idea where we are. <laughs> I'm, I'm lost. <laughs> and they're Jews! You know two people in the back are like, Moses, where the fuck are we going? Go back, Mordecai. I'm taking the longer route to avoid the tolls. <laughs> there are no tolls in the desert. What are you talking about? <laughs> you know what's good to do when you have a cold? Smoke weed. <laughs> It doesn't, it doesn't like get the cold away, but you get like really high and you forget you have a cold. <laughs> I know that seemed like a dumb joke, but you can tell I'm a pilot because I'm like, that's a fucking brilliant idea. <laughs> that, that would work, all you stoners are thinking like, that, I'm gonna do that right now. <laughs> Fuck better flu, give me some weed. <laughs> oh man. How long was it been? I'm just baked on. <laughs> <laughs> shut up, shut up. I'm at a comedy show, I gotta do this. I'm gonna give you guys some advice. You shouldn't drive high, but you're gonna do it, because how else are you gonna get the Taco Bell? I, well, I'm not even kidding. One time, I was literally, literally waiting for the stop sign to change for like 20 minutes. I'm just standing there. Like, Like getting angry that it won't change. Like, dude, when the fuck is this thing gonna change? The guy's honking behind me, I'm like... I think the sign's broken! You can't just blow it, it's illegal. You know how I respect the law and everything. There's another thing I was doing, really dopey thing I did, I love that word, dopey. Uh, I was driving on the highway and I was in the middle lane. And this dude in front of me had his emergency blinkers on, and I was just like, how the hell is he gonna change into both lanes at the same time? 